Hello, I'm Phil Nash. We're going to take a look at what's new in the new release of AppCode 2017.2. We've added a handful of Swift support features, starting with one of the most popular refactorings. Now you can select a block of code and Command Option M to Extract Method. Notice that you get a live preview of the signature that updates as you supply the method name. You can also change the visibility, the parameter names, and of course you can supply different internal names too, as well as types. You can even reorder the parameter list here. And when you're ready, you can accept the final result and apply the refactoring. We've previously been able to override methods from a base class or implement methods from a protocol using this generator action, which is a really useful feature. So useful that now for single methods, you don't even have to open a separate window. You can just start typing and the completions will include all of the same overriding implement candidates. Of course, this works for properties as well. Now, if you don't like the formatting of these generated properties, we now have some new options for you. We can configure it to keep simple properties on one line, like this. And there are also new options for controlling the blank lines around properties and methods. Type inference is great and usually helps to make your code concise in a clear way. But sometimes you can lose immediate visibility of types that you do actually need. Well now you can have your cake and eat it with our new inline type hints feature. You'll need to explicitly enable this feature either globally or just for the current file. Now deduce types are shown as if you'd annotated them manually, although they're in gray and not actually part of the text. As you can see, the carrot just moves straight over them. Talking of type deduction, that's now available in Objective-C too, through the auto type keyword. App code now offers completions and correctly parses it, and deduce types correctly resolve as well. We now support Xcode 8 and 9's documentation format. So pressing F1 on any symbol will open the relevant documentation. Now you can navigate as normal through the docs, which support formatted rich text, even images. And of course you can navigate back again. If you have an error in your code, AppCode will usually spot it before you compile, but if you do compile, the compiler may also report the error. But we've improved how this looks, especially where there are additional notes from the compiler, such as this hint on how to fix the issue, which are now shown as child nodes at the main build message. In version control, we now have inspections for commit messages. We have a few inspections here, and in each case we can set whether issues should be errors or warnings. We can enforce a blank line between the subject and body of the message, limit the length of body text and the subject text, as well as run a spell check. Let's see how this all looks in practice. Here we have an existing commit, which we haven't pushed yet. As this is Git, we can use another new feature here, reword which lets us change an existing commit message. And now we see our inspections. Here the subject length is too long. Now we're missing a blank line before the body. Finally, we see typos are being highlighted. All of these things can be fixed automatically, either case by case or altogether in one go. And we successfully rewrote our commit message. Now don't do this for commits that have been pushed elsewhere, as this will create a new commit with a new hash. And a final new feature for Git, we can revert to one or more earlier commits. This will result in new commits that back out the changes of the earlier commits, which remain in the history. And as these are new commits, you get the same commit window, including of course, those new inspections. And in C++, there have been plenty of fixes and improvements to the parser and code analysis support that AppCode shares with CLine. Thanks for listening. You can also read our What's New page for this release. And as always, you can download a 30-day free trial.